Well, hello there, everyone. It is Monday, February the 28th, the last day of the month of February in the year 2022. Hopefully it's fine you now. <laughs> Excuse me, blooper. <laughs> Hopefully it's fine you doing outstanding. Yeah, actually had a great day yesterday. My brother, Greg, and his wife, Susan, got down here. So they got to check out my house, my pool, the canal. Has a slight odor now, I won't tell you why. But it, should, it clears out every day a little bit more, so I'll let you minds guess what it is. But anyway, we had a nice little chat last night, and they just drove in yesterday, but they're staying uh, about, I think, 40 minutes or so from here, because they got friends over there too. But they'll be, we'll see each other tomorrow, and they'll be back over here on Thursday, I think. So anyway, and then my, my dad and his wife, Marion, they're actually driving down now, and I heard from a little bit ago. They're in uh, South Carolina now, and it's a long drive. They didn't. They got a late start yesterday driving, but they're coming down now. And um, if they make it to this area today, it'll be late when they get here. It'll be a long day. So, you know, if I was them, I think I'd stop maybe at the Georgia Florida line or something, and just get some rest and finish up the next day. But that'd just be me. So anyway, and that's my dad. He's <laughs> he'll soon be 79 in a couple more weeks. But anyway. Uh, stick around to the end and I'm going to tell you what the secret to life is, okay? So my question for you today is, what do you want to get out of life? What do you want to get out of life, okay? I'm going to tell you a couple things. Wouldn't you love, and I'm going to generalize here to try to cover a broad range of people. Wouldn't you love to be able to work your job with no stress of getting fired or laid off? Because if you were fired or laid off, you had enough money that it wouldn't matter to you, Okay. Wouldn't you love it if you could volunteer in your child's school more than you do or maybe you already volunteer a little bit, but you want to volunteer once a week to do something? Wouldn't it be great if you had the time to do it? Maybe you love your church and you want to spend more time with your church, but they can't afford to pay you. So you want to volunteer, but you just can't because you're plugging away doing that 40 hours a week and you don't have the time. Okay. Wouldn't you love to be able to do more time, more Spend more time doing what you love, no matter what it is. It could be reading books. It could be binging Netflix. Please don't make that your reason, okay? Don't binge Netflix, even though you can occasionally if you enjoy something. But read books if you so desire. Take good walks, swim, go to aerobics, go ride bikes, go climb a mountain, go sail across the ocean. Do it. Wouldn't you love to have the time to do what you would like to do? I read something, I saw something in the uh, Wall Street Journal yesterday and I was talking about bucket list trips. And the article was talking about going to Antarctica. And I was like, well, my, I know my oldest son has been to Antarctica. He broke ice there. I think it was, yeah, and I believe it's Antarctica or Arctic. He's been to the North Pole and the South Pole. Okay, but um, as a, you can take cruise ships to Antarctica and some of them actually, you stop and you can step foot on the continent. Okay, so and I was look, looking at it, prices range per person from like $15,000 to $20,000 per person. And I was like, huh, a little bit out of my price range right now, but wouldn't it be nice if one day I can say, sure, hey, missus, let's go. We can go, we'll fly down uh, southern part of Argentina. The Tierra del Fuego is down there, but I think the cruise ships might leave from Argentina, I think. And we'll get on a boat and we'll sail, <laughs> go on an excursion, do some fun stuff. But we'd have to buy better clothes and short sleeve shirts. <laughs> so anyway, but what do you want to do in life? Okay, let me ask you another question. Do you enjoy, if you work a job, tooling away at a 40 hour work week, week after week after week, with the reward being perhaps after 40 years, you can retire on roughly 40% of your pay. What do you think? Do you like doing that? It's called being caught up in the rat race. It's called being on the hamster wheel. It's called, it's called stuff like, I don't know what it's called, but you get up Monday morning, you go to work, you, you wait for the weekend. But when the weekend gets here, bam, it's over so quick. And then it's back to the daily grindstone. And you may love your job today, but will you love it tomorrow? What if your supervisor changes? What if the company goes out of business? What if you love your job no matter what it is? You absolutely love it. But while you're driving to work, someone T-bones you and you get a minor traumatic brain injury, minor, so you still got your thought process, but you lose a little bit up there, just a little bit. And maybe you lose what, maybe you had a job, like maybe you're an engineer 
and that little bit you lost prevents you from doing your job. You can still function in society. You can still talk. You still seem normal to the average person, but you lost just a little bit where you can't function properly in the job. They don't want to fire you because you were their great employee, but as time goes on, they might figure out a way to push you out the door because you're no longer productive, okay? So no matter who you are, there are no guarantees in life. None, zip, zilch, no guarantees in life. All right, we may not be here tomorrow. I may not be here tomorrow. I may fall my canal and alligator might eat me up today. Who knows, <laughs> okay? But anyway, what you need to do is start giving, and you're, you're already doing this, you're watching my channel, but you need to give thought to fi getting financially free. And the key, if you watched the video yesterday, Millennial Mike and myself did, we talked about the five things needed to become a real estate investor. One I wanna chat on real quick is, oh, was number three or number four. It was get, save up the money for your down payment. All right, to me, as a guy who never made a lot of money, because I never made a lot of money in my life, that was the hardest part. And, but yet, knowing what I know now, and if I was talking to you, and you have zero dollars in savings, let's say you're negative, you got credit card debt, and you have no savings at all, I would be telling you to do whatever you can to pull that belt tighter. You don't wanna give up your house, you don't wanna house hack, you don't, whatever it is, you don't wanna give up your car, so you gotta pull that belt tighter, Arr! tighten it up, all right? Because you gotta cut expenses. How else are you gonna pay off your debt? How else are you gonna save up? And if you tell me you can't, <laughs> stop watching my channel, all right? I know people like that, they say, I can't. I don't make enough money. And I would be like, you do the same job I do. You actually get paid more than me because you're higher ranked than me. Why don't you have enough money? Don't make excuses you don't have enough money. Ask why don't you have enough money? Because if Maskey, who made less, had enough money, well, what did Maskey do to save up to get his first investments or to get his stocks or do this or do that? Or how did Maskey afford to put his kids in piano class or put them in swim class or put them in such and such that cost money? Because I had parents tell me they can't afford to put their kids in these activities because shoes are expensive and pay $50 a month for this class. They can't afford it. Well, by golly, if Maskey can do it, so can you. So can you, okay? So do you wanna hear the secret to life? And I'll wrap this up. The secret to life is becoming, and drum roll, some of you are gonna disagree with me completely, all right? So drum roll, <laughs> the secret to life is becoming financially free. Explanation point, why? Because if you become financially free, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You can spend time with your parents. You can spend time with your children. You can spend time at your church. You can hike on every continent in the world. You can do, you can ride your bike every day. You can walk every evening. You can do whatever you want to do within reason, okay? And within whatever your financial level is, you know, if you retire financially free on $50,000 a year, don't live a $100,000 a year life. Okay, you gotta, you know, keep it. And if you do become financially independent and you plan for it, you realize this, I know. But same way with working. If you're making $50,000 a year, live on 30, live on 20, live on 10. Minimize the amount you spend because you invest that difference. You sacrifice now. And here's one. My buddy Will, up there in Virginia, you don't like your job anymore. You want to work somewhere else. Well, by golly, I've seen your house. It's a beautiful house. I've seen your land. You got a book of acres. I've seen your vehicle. Sacrifice now. Suck it up now for just a couple years. And you can be financially free tomorrow. Not literally tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying. In the big scheme of things, a couple years from now is tomorrow, okay? And this is, top, I don't know what's on, on my mustache. <laughs> and this, I'm just generalizing to everybody. <laughs> you know, sometimes, and it even goes for you if you love your job. Sacrifice a little bit now. I got it. Sacrifice a little bit now to make it pay off in the future, all right? 
Don't keep making excuses. Because I have talked to folks for 40 years, 30 years, 30 some years. I remember talking to people in the Navy. I was quieter back then. Talking to people in the police department. And it was always the same thing. I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't know how to do it. I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't know how to do it. It's excuses. We all have the same amount of time, so throw that one out. Money. Live below your means. All right? No matter what you make, live below your means. Increase your income if you need higher income. You don't know how to do it. Watch my channel. Watch Millennial Mike's channel. Watch One Rental at a Time. Read books. I got... There's one rental at a time right over that shoulder. Right over there is Retire Early with Real Estate by Chad Carson. It keeps falling down, so it's laying down now. Right over there, that little guy right there, that's a Navy guy. I made that years ago. I painted it. I did ceramics years ago. Little Navy guy. If you're young and you don't know what to do, join the military. Why not? It's a guaranteed paycheck to give you health insurance, to give you a place to live, to give you food to eat. You can literally save almost every dime you make. All right? Talk about sucking it up. Suck it up for four years. Join. Start buying some rental property. Start investing in the stock market. Become financially free. Secret to life is becoming financially independent at a young enough age to enjoy it. All right? <laughs> All right. Maskey is signing out, and I should be coming back to you sometime, <clears throat> sometime tomorrow. All right? Take care. Stay safe in all you do. Keep loving life, and Maskey will see you later.